morning students and welcome to YouTube, our YouTube channel Gnan Manjari Modern School. So in the previous video we have just finished the chapter number 12 understanding quadrilaterals. Now we will start a new chapter that is chapter number 3 representing solids on paper. How the solids are just represented on the paper means solids means 3D shapes. Okay, students, see here there is some theory part given over here. View of 3D shape. In this chapter, we are going to learn how to represent three dimensional objects as two dimensional picture. A student drew a picture as shown in figure 13.1. See here you have to draw a picture. See here we are just drawing like that. So we have just drawn a picture like this. Okay, students. Next. What is next? And ask his friends to tell him what he had drawn. Many of his friends tried to give their interpretation of the picture as the sun is rising, the sun setting and so on. At last, the one who drew it will say, I drew an elephant on the other side of the wall. Another student drew another picture like this as shown in the figure 13.2 and ask other to interpret it. So, each one of the students gave their explanation at last. The one who drew is said that this is the top view of the Maxim Mexican with his Mexican cap frying an egg in the frying pan. And the elephant is the side view while the Mexican is the top view. Remember that both are correct means someone say this is sun rising or anything else. But from back side I will tell that it is an elephant. Okay students it is an elephant. Now next every solid object has four different views from we could look at top view, side view, front view and view from any angle. An architect is contra conquered about the top side and front views while an artist is conquered about the view from any angle. In your computer if you will search for Google Earth you will find pictures that are taken from satellite and hence they are from top. Okay students so here see you can see view of in places you can find your town or village your school your house etc. It is in it but they are all top views when you look at the map of your city what you find in this top view look at this map and locate the following places hospital school marketplace multiple corporation office police station and sports stadium okay students so we have to see in the google map so when you just start the Google map, then you can see the up view of the all your city, town or anything else is there. Okay students, so when you, why you can see the top view only? Because the, uh, set the Google map has the satellite images, so you can see from that only top. Okay students, so next let us see that if you want a carpenter to make a box it will be it will be easy easier for him to make the box if we draw and give him to the top view the side view and the front view will dimension rather than drawing a box from any angle see here what they give is top view front view and side view three views are given Okay students, see here I am just drawing that. If a carpenter has to make a box, then this is the top view which I am just drawing. Top view. So from top, it will see like this. See if I say this is 20 centimeter and fit this is 15 centimeter okay students and side view what is side view means that will be over here so for that 
you will just see side view like this. Okay, and front view. So, what will you will see in the front? So, you will see in the front like this only. Okay, you can see like this. This is also 15 centimeter and this is 20 centimeter from the front view. Okay, students, see here, I am just taking a remote. This is a remote of AC. Okay, students, so what is the top view? You can see the top view is like this. This is called the top view. Okay, and what is the back view? This is the back view and the side view. See here, the side view is like this and if I say you have to see the top, <coughs> top view of the remote, then this is top view. Side view or front view, this is front view, this is side view and this is back view. Okay, students, so in this way, here we have just represent the box and moving further, see here, a 3D box has been drawn over here. Sir, okay, we are just trying to draw that 3D box, okay. So, making a 3D box, so students, I don't know the drawing, so I will just try to draw picture like this, okay students. So now this is the front view and this is the back view of it, like this okay students so here this is in a box see the front view front view top and side you can see students these are the three views of a box this we can see from front this type of we can see from the top and this side of the we can see from the side view. Okay, students. Now, moving further, moving further. So, see here, example number one is given. Consider the following 3D objects and observe how the different views are represented. So, let us see students this. So, first of all the home view is given. So, see here I am just trying to draw this but I don't think so it will be drawn like this. Okay students. So, here is an object first object that is house. So, I am just trying to draw a house. So, this is like a house, here is the gate, here is the window, okay, and here is one. So, this, this will be connected and this, oh sorry, okay. So, this is a house students, you can see, I can't draw the perfect image and then after they have told us to front view, front view, front, so the front view you can see, we can see this gate on the front, so we will just draw like this that this is the front view of the this house and then after they have told us to side view, so the side view so, this is the 
side view you can see student this is the side view so from side you can just see like this okay this will be the straight line only because we are just so this is the side view you can see here there is an this so this is the side view and then comes top view means the we can see this from the top so the top view that is these two will we can see these two side this and other side this we can see from the top so that can be drawn as like this let me see in the book it is like this only na oh this will on the front uh, sorry top view is there so we have to this row like this so this is the top view we can see this as top okay students here the line is i think not proper okay so this is like okay now moving toward next you can see there is a box given in that the front view you can see the front view is like this that only and the side view you can see that and the top view also you can see and then comes a cylinder which is over here and there is a 3d so the side view the, so cylinder is there so i am just drawing that cylinder over here so i think this is a cylinder okay this is an cylinder so this cylinder we are just there is an above like this and this is another color that is white color and here is like this okay so this is a cylinder so the front view what will be the front view if you just see like this then you can get this as the front view like this so this is the front view and then comes side view that will be also like this because it is a circle shape so if you will see from any side there it will be same and then after top view you can see from top you can see like this this is the top view okay students now moving further see your mapping space around us you have been dealing with map since your primary classes a map is different from form of a picture a picture gives the real description of an object while a map gives only the location relation to other objects different positions persons can give different description of the object and it reflect in the picture but a map remains the same irrespective of the position of the observer use of a certain symbols mentioning of a distance in a map helps you to read map easily distance on the map are proportional to the actual distances thus and actual distance of 1 km or 10 km may be shown by 1 mm or 1 cm on the map a scale can vary from map to map but it makes fixed with an map on a map there is no perspective object may be closer or further from each other but they will look like same okay students so they are just talking about the map so they are just talking about the map in map if you will just see then we know that from if you just tell that wait a second students we are just going to <laughs> live only we are just uh, viewing a map on the mobile let us take me a mobile 
okay students here i have just bring a phone over here in that i have just open the google map you can see that this is our town let me view bit bigger yes uh, you can see that wait let me take uh, see on the camera okay students okay students see here we have ju i just bring the phone and in that you can see a phone okay students uh are you getting clearly no you are don't getting clearly okay let me take it again so yes students i am just uh, putting a phone over here only you can see students here i have just put a phone over here and you can see all the buildings over here okay students so this is the map and this is our school where i am just standing over here see this is our school over here see here it is written also gnan majri modern school okay and this is our shihor i am just zooming out see here you can see over here sonagarh is there and here this is area of shihor and here is bhavnagar okay students you can see that on the map but we can see this from the only top view we can't just see but here they have given an option of 3d map i am just trying that see here the satellite view yes here is the 3d view but over here they in the india i don't think so the 3d is available and you can see i have just made the satellite view in that you can see our school building from the top see here you can see this is our playground and you know there is an uh, uh this and this is our school building and this is our playground over here students this is the top view of our school you can see students okay now just moving for okay students so you have just seen the map okay in the phone okay students now just moving further and in that we have seen our school top view okay students from the map and now just going to the exercise 3a in that what you have to do is you can do that at your home because i i can't just solve because my drawing is weak okay you have to just draw at your home the top view of the following so you have to draw a, uh, a cup and saucer top view and a perfume bottle top view a bulb top view then there is a gym instrument i don't know the name i think it is known as dumbbells yes this is dumbbell only and there is a piece of cake and a funnel or the block is given over here that you have to draw the top view of it and draw the top side and front view of the following in that question number 2 you have to draw three as we have just drawn over here front side and top view okay students now question 3 you don't have to do you have to cut question number 3 okay students now just moving further and here drawing two dimensional 2d representation of 3d objects let us do it students first of all here we are just uh, going to the 3d objects in that okay so first of all you can see 3d objects are given in that i only know to draw a one 3d object that is cube okay students and i will just show you the cube also so i only know to draw a cube in 3d object in that i am just master i think but <laughs> further i don't know so here we are just drawing a cube so 
this is r cube student the blue line is the back view and the black line is the front view see here i am just writing black is equal to front and blue is equal to back okay so the blue line that you just see that is the front view of the cube and the black line that you see behind that is the back side of that cube see here i am just showing you a cube over here i have in my bag so this is the cube you can see students this is the cube so you can see over here this is the view i have drawn is like this so the green part that is this black and this part that is this whitish part and the back view means this is blue that is the back view so i have just drawn an object like this i have just drawn a cube like this so this is the front part this is the top part over here and the side part that is over here and this is the down part but i have this is just transparent so you can see the down part okay students so this is the cube that i only know to draw and solve okay students moving further so moving further and another shape is given over here cuboid sphere and cone but i don't know to draw that thing i only know a 3d structure that is a cube and i think it is much better than other one okay students now moving further i am just reading that an object that has three dimensions such as length breadth and height and occupy space is called 3d or three dimensional figure or simply a solid figure 13.6 shows some examples of commonly seen solids you can see cuboid sphere cone cube this are three sorry four examples of it the surface of a solid is called the face of the solid the face can be a plane or curved shape when when any two faces of the solid meet together a line segment called an edge is formed when three or more faces of the solid meet at a point the point is called vertex of the solid see here when two or more three lines just come at the point it is known as vertex of that and figure 13.7 illustrate the face edge and the vertices of the solid you can see that and the figure is given and the 2d shapes or 2d figures we will see in the next video okay students we will keep up to here only and we will meet in the next video so today's homework is your today's homework is so exercise 13 a in that question number 1 and 2 question 3 cut okay question 3 cut okay students we will meet in the next video bye students